With the launch of ZK Sync era, there are many projects that are now live on this network, and two of them could be launching their tokens very soon. Both SyncSwap and SpaceFi have launched certain quests for you to complete, and some of them are ending soon. Today, I'll be showing you some of the steps you can do to potentially qualify for both of these airdrops. If you're already trying out for the ZK Sync token airdrop, you may have interacted with some of the smart contracts on both SyncSwap and SpaceFi. However, if you're just starting out in trying to farm airdrops, there are two things that you need to do first before we can start. You need to have some Ethereum on the ZK Sync era mainnet, as this is used to pay for any gas fees when you are making any transactions on this network. I have a video in the description below where I show you some of the methods to bridge the ETH token from the Ethereum mainnet or any other layer tools to ZK Sync era. Another step is to add the ZK Sync era mainnet to your MetaMask wallet. This can be done by going to the Chainlist website and searching for ZK Sync. You can connect your MetaMask wallet and after clicking this button, you have added the ZK Sync era network to your MetaMask wallet. Now that all of that is done, we can now start farming for the SpaceFi airdrop. The Space token is currently available for trading as SpaceFi is already live on the FMOS network. They did mention that the Space tokens will have an initial supply of 60 million and 30 million of it is being allocated for the ZK Sync mainnet which has just launched. SpaceFi has launched this Gleam campaign which allows you to earn this OAT on Galaxy. OAT stands for an on-chain achievement token and it also mentioned that there are some incentives that are being reserved for early adopters of SpaceFi on ZK Sync. So here are the steps that we can do to complete this Gleam campaign. The first step is to add some liquidity into SpaceWap and this can be done for either the ETH USDC or Space USDC pairs. If you only have Ethereum on ZK Sync era, it will be best for you to swap some some of your tokens to USDC. If you've used a decentralized exchange like Uniswap before, the interface should be rather familiar to you. I'm just showing you an example of how to make a swap transaction here. And you may notice that the gas fees are actually quite high, where it charges you about $2 for this swap transaction. However, it's actually not that expensive as what MetaMask estimates it to be. And you may even get a refund of up to 95% of the gas fees that you pay for this transaction. Now that you have both Ethereum and USDC, we can now go to the pool section to add some liquidity. So again, I'll select my USDC tokens and for now I'll just add 5 USDC and a corresponding amount of Ethereum into this pool. Before we can supply our tokens into this pool, we will first need to make an approval transaction for USDC. MetaMask is prompting us to select a custom spending cap and in this case I'll just use the default which is a very large number. If you'd like to learn a bit more about this spending cap as well as token approvals, I have a video in the description that explains it a bit more. You need to pay some gas fees for this transaction as well and hopefully it will be less than 58 cents. This transaction has been sent to the blockchain and we can click on the view on explorer to see the gas fees that we actually pay. If the pop-up disappear just like what happened for me, you can click on your wallet and over here you see the recent transactions and you can click on approve USDC. So over here we can see that this was the actual transaction fee that I actually paid which amounts to about 29 cents in USD and use about 50% of the gas fee that MetaMask estimated. Approving is just the first step and now we need to supply our tokens into the pool. So this would be another transaction that also costs some gas fees as well. This is actually much more expensive the gas fee is about $2.50 in USD. However, if you go to the Explorer again, the transaction fee only costs about $0.58 cents in USD. Now that we have some liquidity pool tokens for the USDC and ETH pool, we can now go to the farm section to stake our LP tokens. If you have loaded this farm page for the very first time, you may have noticed that these liquidity pools may actually look a bit weird to you. All of these pools are actually on the FMOS network and not ZK Sync era. And you can scroll up and when you click on this icon, you can switch it to the ZK Sync era mainnet. After you have connected your MetaMask wallet, you should now see that there's only the ETH USDC and Space USDC pools. I've selected the ETH USDC pool and we can choose the unbonding period that we need to wait before we are able to gain access to our LP tokens again after we unstake. If you select a higher unbonding period, your total APR will actually be much higher. However, for myself, I'm mainly just depositing liquidity into this pool so that hopefully I'll be able to qualify for the Space 5 airdrop. I personally prefer not to have an unbonding period so that I'll be able to gain access to my funds as quickly as possible. So I'll be going for the zero days unbonding period and I can click on enable contract. This is yet another token approval for SpaceFi smart contracts to interact with my liquidity pool tokens. So again this costs about 52 cents but it should be cheaper than that. Now that it has been approved I can now stake all of my EFUSDC liquidity pool tokens. The gas fee is estimated to be quite expensive at about $3. This was the actual amount that I paid for my transaction and it only cost me around 94 cents. So the gas fees on ZK Sync era are actually still quite expensive so it'd be best for you to keep some ETH tokens behind so that you'll be 
be able to pay for all of these gas fees. We have now finished all of these tasks here and we can complete all of these remaining tasks on green. We can now enter our MetaMask address that starts with the prefix OX. Now that we have submitted all of the entries for Space5, you can keep an eye out for the Galaxy OAT and once you have qualified for it, you can then mint it to your MetaMask wallet. Space5 also has a Zili quest board and this was previously known as Clue Chi. There are some quests that you can complete here and all of them are rather straightforward to do. You can check out my referral link in the description below and hopefully if you get more XP on this platform, this could help to increase your allocation for the token airdrop as well. Space5 also has this layer 3 quest and all you need to do is to swap your Ethereum to USDC which was what we did in the previous steps. By completing this quest on layer 3, this may also increase your allocation for the space token airdrop. Layer 3 is quite a fun way for you to complete certain quests and this could also help you to qualify for some airdrops in the future. As you are farming for all of these token airdrops, are you finding it extremely hard to keep track of all of them? I've been creating a Notion page that tracks all of the different projects and tokens that I'm looking to get an airdrop from and I've included some useful links as well as my YouTube guides that are relevant to each airdrop. So if you'd like to get your hands on this airdrop tracker, you can sign up for my Substack newsletter and you receive the link to the Notion site in the welcome email. Swap has also announced its token that it will be launching in the future and they also have an ERA Pioneer campaign that is similar to the actions that we did for Space5. So in their blog post, it mentions that you need to make at least two swaps and then deposit your tokens into SingSwap's liquidity pools so that you'll be eligible for the Galaxy OAT. When we are on the SingSwap platform, you can do two swaps, preferably if to USDC and then back again. And then after that, we can go to the pool section and I've also added my liquidity into the USDC if pool. I've already claimed this OAT and apart from completing this quest, you just need to follow SingSwap on Twitter as well as like and retweet one of their posts. SingSwap also has a guild and if you have participated in the SingSwap ERA Pioneer campaign and if you have gotten the OAT from Galaxy, you'll be able to receive this ERA Pioneer role on this Discord. So this could help to increase your allocation as well once SingSwap launches its token. Apart from farming both the SingSwap and Space5 tokens, you can potentially get the CK Sing token which is rumored to be released in 2024. My video here will show you some of the steps that you can do on ZK Sing era so that you can potentially qualify for this airdrop.